Hi, I'm Jess. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to create your first scene and save your project. So you create a new scribe project and start with a blank canvas. The first thing we're going to do is add an image and you can do this to the right of the timeline at the bottom of the screen. You'll see your most recently used images are available to use again and so you can scroll through our pre-arranged folders as well as browse the library. Because we have over 3,500 free images available, it may take a long time to scroll through, so you can always search for a keyword and narrow down this search using facets. You can see the thumbnails are here, but if you want a closer look, just right click and preview. Once you're happy, just click on the image and it's added to the canvas. As well as the library, you can import your own images into Videoscribe. The file types accepted are SVG, JPEG, PNG and GIF. So I'm going to import a screenshot from our help website. Again, I select the Add an Image button, but this time I'm going to use the Import options. You can import web images using a URL, but in this case the screenshot is already saved to my computer, so I'm going to import the image from here. Find and select the image you want. You'll then be presented with some options on how your image is added to the canvas. I want to draw this image and have the hand scan over it to reveal it, which works quite well for this type of image. Click the tick and again it's added straight to the canvas. You can then resize and move it into position. Within a few clicks there you can see you have a couple of images ready to go, one from the Videoscribe library and one external screenshot on the canvas. Now let's add some text. Next to the add an image button is add some text. Click on this and type your message. Press return to space your text out over multiple lines and you can also pick fonts, alignments and colour from this screen too. I'm going to change the font, centre align my text and change the colour to blue. If you search import fonts on the help site you'll see more information on adding fonts to Videoscribe. Click the tick and this will be added to the centre of the canvas. You can then drag this into position and resize as required. So that's your scene done. We can preview this again to see it all together. I'm now going to save the project within Videoscribe so I can come back and work on it again in the next tutorial. The save button is in the top left of the screen and you'll need to start by giving your scribe a name. If you have a lot of projects, you can organise them into folders. Use the drop down to choose which one to save your project in, or you can create a new one. You then need to select a save option. You can use the tick to save it within Videoscribe on this computer. The world icon will save within your Videoscribe cloud folder so you can access it from other machines or you can export and save the project outside of Videoscribe. This is useful for sending your project to someone else so they can work on it. So that's how you create your first scene and save your work. Tutorial 2 will focus on moving around the canvas, using zoom and setting the camera position all of which are really important for creating your second scene.